All right, in this video, we're going to go through uh, the entire flight profile with the UFO. We're going to start out um, all in manual mode. Uh, we're just going to fly manually. We're going to take off. We're going to head past the uh, oil platform. We're going to head out past the uh, nuclear power plant. We'll transition from vertical to horizontal flight mode. We'll come back. We'll transition from horizontal flight mode back into vertical, and we'll come down for landing. So we'll jump in the trailer, click on the circuit breaker. We will jump in our seat. We'll do drone master power generator on, turn on our two start stops. We'll go ahead and we will go to, um, again, we could go to three green or four green. Uh, since we're outside, we're not trying to maneuver inside of a hangar or something. We'll just go ahead and we'll go all the way to four green. All right, and we'll go to blue line and that will take us off. As soon as we spool up, uh, the uh, UFO will just lift off. Alright, so it's lifting off. We'll put the gear up. We'll start turning right with yaw. Alright, so we'll, uh, just for a little bit here, we'll uh, start flying like a helicopter. As you see, the craft itself pitches. We can go down to about three, uh, three white bars and still maintain altitude. So we just uh, pitch like this. So this is the benefit of the craft tilting is if you imagine we were a helicopter, we'd be looking down like this. So we'd have to, you know, look up and not see our gauges. This way we can just look straight ahead. All right, so we'll get ready to transition into forward flight mode. So I'm just going to hold the rotor tilt forwards. As you can see, it's coming forwards. The rotors are tilting towards the nose. And we're already in uh, forward flight mode. So it's just that easy. All right, so I'm going to zoom out. I'm actually going to just going to put a marker at TT base so that we can easily head back. So there's a marker. All right, so we're at blue line, burn a bunch of fuel. So we'll just head to pink line. Pink line's max speed, and it also gives us a fuel savings. If we wanted a little bit slower speed but more fuel savings, we could go to green line. So there's the nuclear power plant off to our uh, right side. So that's, uh, we're going to turn around that and we'll start heading back. So just um, banking uh, up, about a max of 20 degrees is good. That's what the autopilot will do. That's going to uh, give us a nice bank angle and we're just going to tap um, left, right for a yaw. All right, so I'm not going to gain too much altitude here. I don't want to uh, have to, I'm just going to have to lose it here in a minute to uh, get back to base. So I'm going to click R to recenter us on the craft and I'm going to zoom out. All right, so that uh, long dark red line you see moving there, that's where our aircraft is pointing. The brighter red line is the line back to TT base. So we're going to line up with TT. I'm going to roll out. All right, so now we're headed right back to TT. We're only 4.6 kilometers away, doing 144 knots, so we're going to want to start thinking of slowing down. So I'm going to go back to blue line. All right, so we're at blue line. And I'm going to also start tilting my rotors. So I'm just going to tilt them 25 degrees towards uh, the aft. As you can see, TT just popped back into view. We're only at about 400 feet, so just going to keep an eye on that altitude. All right, I need to go to blue line. There's blue line. That will help us gain some of that speed back. Again, four bars in blue. So we're going to start transitioning our rotors to a little bit uh, less than 50%. That's going to put them more than 45 degrees pointing up. All right. And now we can knock off a bar of green. And we'll go ahead and we'll bring our rotors all the way up. And we'll start descending. All right, gear is going to come down. All right, so as you can see, our pink line here is showing our descent. We're going down at about 3,000 feet per minute. So I'm just going to give a couple taps with the up arrow. And as you see, I've uh, decreased it down to about negative 300 feet per minute. We could even tap our uh, prop pitch a couple notches there to get more pitch to uh, decrease our descent rate as well. All right, so just gentle movements here. All right, so I'm actually going to bring out the gimbal camera. 
Gimbal camera's coming out. We'll double click to get to gimbal cam. And we'll start getting ready for landing. Alright, so again, the easiest way is going to be with that autopilot stability mode on the vertical flight mode. Uh, but we can also do a manual landing here. So. Alright. So we're lined up here. And we'll just gently put it down. All right, so we're landed, so we'll feather the prop. We will reduce our thrust down to one yellow bar. That's ground idle. Go ahead and put our gimbal camera away. Shut down our two turbines. We'll shut off our master power, shut off our generator, and we can click the uh, circuit breaker for the trailer off. Come on out, as you can see, nice landing, close to all of our craft. So that's uh, manual flight. Thanks for watching.